it's almost time to start thinking about forms 1099. So these are normally 1099 miscellaneous, but 2020, it's the year for changes. And this year we have a new form along with 1099 miscellaneous called the 1099 NEC. Today's topic is going to be going over the differences between the two and when you need to file them. My name is Tony Cameron with TLDR Accounting, and we provide tax and accounting services to private therapy practices and small business owners. So the 1099 miscellaneous and the 1099 NEC. So the 1099 miscellaneous is a form. Normally you fill it out for anyone you pay over $600 for professional services, uh, things like rent, all of that. And I'm going to show you the 1099 miscellaneous for uh, 2021. So as you can see, if you filed this form before, it has changed. So normally there's box seven, which is payments made to contractors. So that would be not an employee, uh, someone that maybe they did your website for 600 bucks or uh, were providing services, professional services is why you would need to file this out. That box is now gone and all of those are now going to be filed on the new form, which is the 1099 non-employee compensation form, right? They broke it out. It's its own form. Uh, so if you had been filing a 1099 miscellaneous for independent contractors, now you're going to be filing the 1099 NEC. The 1099 miscellaneous will still be used for things like rent, royalties, um, for attorney fees, anything like that. But the, the usefulness of it is going to go down for most of our business owners. So I'm not going to have to file this form. Instead, they're going to be filing this form, which is the new 1099 NEC for non-employee compensation, right? And this is to keep for the IRS to help keep track of independent contracting income and who is it getting paid to? Is it getting reported correctly and all of that? So this is also due by January. Uh, the 1099 miscellaneous is also due in January. So they're, they still have the same due date, but you do need to make sure that you're starting to use the new form. That'll be the biggest thing. This is the newest thing that has come out is that this is the form that does need to be used. It's key to make sure you do fill these out for any contractors. Uh, you don't want to forget to file these. So make sure that you do keep track and you're getting a W-9 from anyone who you do pay as an independent contractor, right? The W-9 is the form before you pay someone you should ask for. It, it's going to have their business name on it, their EIN, their address, what type of entity they are. So you know if you need to file a 1099 miscellaneous or 1099 NEC for them. If it's a large corporation, more than likely you don't need to file anything for them. If it's a solo owner, you're going to have to file a 1099 for services to them. Uh, so one of the key things is making sure you see the type of entity they are on that box and that you ask for the W-9 before you write a check to them. Now, if you're paying via a credit card, uh, you don't really need to do a 1099 miscellaneous or 1099 NEC because that credit card that you use to pay them, their payment processor is going to issue them a 1099K. And so that income's already reported. This is if you are writing a check to someone who provides professional services. I know a ton of people don't use check anymore. ACH is the other one or bill pay. If you're using your rewards card and it's a credit card, you don't need to worry about it. It's one of the reasons why we highly encourage our business owners to use their business credit card for these types of payments. Uh, just, you know, because then they don't need to worry about this. But if you are writing checks for things like, you know, someone helped you on your website or uh, you had some design work done, you're going to want to make sure you have a W-9 and that you make sure you fill out these forms correctly. Uh, remember, the 1099 NEC is due January 31st, right? Got to remember that by January 31st. So keep that in mind. And the 1099 miscellaneous is, um, have been bumped to February now because that independent contracting income or non-employee compensation income has been moved to the new form. Uh, if we're going to be helping with your 1099s, make sure you get us your W-9s by January 9th, um, and then we can get everything filed for you on time by the end of the month. Let us know if you have any questions, and hopefully you found this helpful. 